No matter how many chickens Mark Holmes sacrifices this week, we are going to know before kickoff if the Eagles are still in the playoff hunt. And if for some reason, if they're not, there is still a ton to play for this season. Well, hello, friends. Mark Holmes. I'm a grown ass man. I'm a grown ass man. I'm a grown ass man. Hey everybody, King Ding back here. I'm in my garage with a cigar. It's only a candy cigar because my wife won't let me smoke one. After I put that big fat head up in our bedroom, then... let's get rid of that. Uh, at this point, uh, I'd be happy for Dak to be playing for somebody else. And my team stinks. I agree. Stinks. They laugh about us. We're a disgrace. We suck. Dallas still stinks. You're by the way, King Thing back here. I hope everybody's having a great day. I hope you guys are doing well. It is Eagles Dallas Cowboys week on the week of Christmas. How about that? And let me tell you, this is Judgment Day. This is Judgment Day for that evil, satanic, voodoo doll known as Joe Boo. Because if Cowboys lose this week, his head is coming off. And Mark Holmes is scared. He is so scared. Let me tell you something, okay? Michael Anthony, where's the fitness? He texted me. He called me. He said his dad is going nuts. He's interfering with his cardio workouts. Michael Anthony does a three-hour cardio workout every day. And in this workout, it involves nap, okay? He takes a three-hour nap because he says, if you could get into REM, which is rapid eye movement, then you are going to burn a lot more calories because it says rapid in the REM. So rapid means fast, means burn calories, means he's in shape. Michael Anthony, where's the fitness? He is the future of working out, of conditioning. There is no question. That's why he naps like an elf. Like, like every two hours, he takes a 20-minute nap. Maybe sometimes three hours. But... He's trying to take his naps, and and Mark is waking him up. Mark is texting me all hours through the day. Mark Holmes is losing his mind because he's about to lose his voodoo doll's head. That is why he is so worried. And let me tell you, he, he, he keeps texting me, you cheated on Carson Wentz. You cheated on Carson Wentz. I ain't cheat on anybody. I'm married to a woman. Matrimonial duties every day, you know? But... I know, Mark. I know how he thinks. See, Mark loves Dak Prescott like his son, like he's his son, more than he likes the Cowboys. So what I want to know, Mark, when Dak Prescott leaves next year, which he will, what are you going to do? Who are you going to root for? Who are you going to root for? I think Mark secretly wants Wentz in Dallas. But Mark, I'm coming for you. I'm coming for that head. It's going to happen. And, and to be quite honest with you, it presents a lot of problems for me, okay? And I'll get into that in a second. Um, first off, I got to give a couple shout-outs and wish congratulations to Fletcher Cox, Jason Kelsey, and uh, my man Brandon Graham. Brandon Graham, they all earned a Pro Bowl. Brandon Graham's first Pro Bowl appearance, it is well-deserved. And me personally... I'll be honest, I thought he was the only Eagle that really deserved to go to the Pro Bowl this year. But we know Pro Bowl is a lot of times a popularity contest. Uh, I thought Brandon Graham the last three years deserved to go. Didn't go. And uh, you got to give him a shout out. Uh, he has seven sacks this year. He has seven sacks this year. I want to see Brandon Graham get 10. I'm really hoping that he's going to be able uh, to get 10. If he does... That'll be awesome. That'll be awesome. Now, so congratulations to those guys on making the Pro Bowl. Brandon Graham, well-deserved. Now, we are just a few days away from Christmas. We are a few days away, and we need, we need to continue with proper traditions. So with that said, on the fourth day of Christmas, YouTube said to me, 
four sports fury nerds, three hours nap, two dolphin bands, and Mark Holmes number four free. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Ain't no time, yo. Tastes so good when it touches your mother humping lips. Ain't no question about it. Now, this is the week. This is Judgment Day this week. This is Judgment Day because if, if the Eagles win, Joe Boo's satanic voodoo hut, their head dial, whatever the hell it is, is coming off. It is coming off. Uh, it is a big week for us. This, this is in some ways my Super Bowl. This is a chance to free all of YouTube of the satanic curse Joe Boo and Mark Holmes has put them on. We can break free. Moses of YouTube's about to strike again. That said, also, if the Eagles win out, they beat Dallas and beat Washington, and Washington loses this Sunday to Carolina, the Eagles get into the playoffs, okay? The beautiful thing about this game versus the Cowboys this week, the beautiful thing about it is we're going to know. As soon as kickoff starts, we're going to know the Eagles are still alive in the playoffs, or they're, they're eliminated. They're mathematically eliminated. Now, I'm going to be streaming the Washington game uh, because it's a, such a huge mo monumental game for this season, okay? It's a big game. And and I, I don't know that the Carolina Panthers are going to beat Washington. I think it's a long shot. However, you still got a shot. You still got a shot. You got to go play the game. Uh, so it's going to be a huge game. And if, if for some reason... Washington, well, probably if, but they're probably going to win. But when they win or if we're eliminated, going into that Cowboys game, you have to quickly focus your attention to the draft. To the draft. Because right now, let me tell you guys, we are picking number seven. Okay? We are picking, we have the seventh pick in this draft, and it's huge. Like I said before in many other videos, this team is in need of top-end talent. They need top end talent. If you can get a top, possibly top seven pick, top eight pick, top ten pick, uh, you're going to be doing pretty good. Now, of course, I know some people are going to say, "Hey, yo, Philly, if Howie Roseman's making the picks, what's the difference?" Well, my my, I have to go under the assumption he's not going to be making those picks. But even if he is, the first pick isn't what scares me. It's that second pick, that second round pick, that third round pick, that fourth round pick. Those are the things that actually scare me. Um, the first pick, I, I think, you know, there's some guys that will be out there, and hopefully he'll get them right. But if, like, if the Eagles are eliminated, it's still a huge game. It really is. Do you know that the Eagles could pick as high as four? We could get the fourth overall pick in the draft. I mean, that's a that's a really good pick. Then you have that second round pick. It's all of a sudden a, a high second round. We, we have a lot to play for regardless of what happens. That is my point. And it's going to create a problem for me because if the if Washington wins and we're eliminated, um, I, of course, would love nothing better than to free the world of of Joe Boo and his even, evil satanic hold that he has on the world and the planet. I would love to do it. But at the same time, I got to get the best pick. I got to get the best pick available. So this is going to be very hard. And here, here's the other thing with this whole thing with the pick scenarios. If Dallas was to lose to us, then they would get the higher pick and we would lose. We would we would drop back maybe, what, to like 9 or 10? But all of a sudden, they would, they would jump us and they would get a higher pick. Uh, they screwed us last year with a higher pick. I don't want it to happen again. So to me, my, my whole thing is, that Washington game at, at, at 1 o'clock, that's, that's it. Whatever happens in that game is, is going to determine what I want to happen the following two weeks. Because I do not care if, if we're losing and we're eliminated. Once we're eliminated, I want the better pick. I've got to have the better pick. This team needs the better pick so bad. They really do. I mean, you're talking about if let's say the Eagles are picking seventh, anywhere between four and seven. You're talking about those who who want who want uh, Jamar Chase, those who want Parsons, uh, Sertan. All these guys are in, going to go in that range. Any of those players would be a huge impact for the Eagles. So this game is monumental, but on so many levels, not just a matter of hey, the Eagles. They still got a chance to make the playoffs. Now, if that if Washington loses and the Eagles 
you know, go into that game against Cowboys, all they have to do is win out, and they're in. And they win the division. Now, could you imagine a situation where you go in the playoffs with a rookie quarterback like uh, Jalen Hurts, who's playing as well as he has? They, they, could, they could maybe get into the playoffs and win a home game. It's possible. It would be very entertaining, very interesting. So, to me, this game, Washington game, is huge this week for the Eagles. I mean, it's almost as huge, if not bigger, than the Eagles game itself. Because they hold all the marbles. If they if they somehow lose to Carolina. And look, I know you think that that's impossible or hard. I, we've seen it happen. We've seen it happen. Remember, was it was 08 where they needed, like, the Raiders to beat the Bucks, And it was like, or the Bucks. I forget how it went, but... There was so all these scenarios, and you needed like four things to take place, and they all took place. It was it was a beautiful thing. So, yeah, this game is monumental. This game not only affects this this game of getting in the playoffs, but it also affects affects your draft, and your draft is going to affect your future. This is big time, big time, mother humpus. So, yes, the Eagles Cowboys game is the game of the year right now for me. Um, but it all depends on that Washington, that Washington game. And I don't know if Alex Smith is going to play or not. We just saw Haskins got in trouble. He was wearing a mask, at a, not wearing a mask at a strip club or something like that. I, I didn't read the details. I just saw that he got in trouble. So they're already having issues uh, outside of football. Could this impact that game? Very well could be. Uh, if the Eagles won the division, I think they would pick somewhere like 19. I think they would pick 19. Okay. And even if teams have a, wor a better record than them, if they're not winning the division, uh, they go ahead of the Eagles. So you could go from anywhere from four, drafting number four to number 19. Now, I know a lot of people don't want to hear about drafting, but the truth of the matter is before we kick off on Sunday, we're going to know, do we fight for the division or do we fight for a better draft pick? And you know the Eagles aren't going to try to lose. They're not. That's not how they, they operate. But you, you have to almost hope that they can get a higher pick. And I don't want Dallas jumping us. So this this game versus um, Washington, this Washington game is going to be fascinating. We'll be streaming. And the Eagles game as well. And and I look forward to, look, I, I, I hope that Washington loses. This is what I hope they lose. And then we get to go beat Dallas, and we beat them. I get to sweep over them. I get Joe Boo's head. We all celebrate. Merry Christmas. Ha, ha, ha. Happy New Year. All that stuff. And the satanic curse is lifted. Moses of YouTube saves us again. Saves us again. It's going to be fun. So to finish this video off, I got to say, I got a lot of problem with you peoples, specifically food shares. That's right, food shares, because nobody ruins a meal more than food shares. And what I'm talking about is you ever order food, like Chinese food specifically, and you order it, and then you have these people who they want to try all these different things, right? So what happened was the other day we had some 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 company over, right? And this company was driving through, and it come in, and, and, you know, I'm being a nice guy. You know, they were driving for a while. I said, you know what? What do you guys want? Put put an order in. I'll, I'll go get some Chinese food. We got a really good Chinese food place here. It's a mom pop shop. I try to support it because of everything going on. You want them small businesses to stay afoot. So I'm like, I'll go buy it. We'll have Chinese food. It'll be great. You know, I I pick out what I want. I tell my wife here, I put the order. I'll go pick it up in a little bit. So she gets the order, gathers the order. These people are at the house, right? One of them, of course, has no 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 shoes on, no shoes on in the house, going back and forth to the car, bringing stuff in for the baby. Black, dirty feet, disgusting, sticking uh, flip flops. You have the white bottom of the flip flops, disgusting. So of course, this is a flip flopper till you drop with bare feet. They're getting their order in. Oh, they're gonna hate me so much for this, but it is what it is. So. So I go, I pick up the food, was, you know, it was a decent sized order, man, come in with two bags, a lot of people, right, I put it on the, on, on the counter, I'm like, alright, I gotta go do some things upstairs, you know, so I go upstairs, I'm getting some stuff done, come down to get my food, come down to get my food, I go in the kitchen, I open the container, three quarters of the food is gone. It is gone. I ordered General Zao's chicken because this place makes fantastic General Zao chicken. And I'm looking and I'm like, yo, yo, baby. Like, where the hell is the food? It's like a quarter food in here. Well, they didn't give me my food. And then I hear the person, 
I'm sorry, we all like to share. You like to share. So they went around and everybody ordered one thing and then they all started taking parts of each other's food to try it. Well, they took three quarters of my food. So what did I do? I tried to be all right. Okay, cool. So I, you know, I get my little little drop of General Zao's chicken that's remaining. And then I get the, the stuff that they ordered, which was a concoction of disgustingness. It was crap. It was like, like I think one of it had mushrooms. I hate mushrooms. Never eat mushrooms. Um, then I think one of them might even had tofu. And it was like this rubbery band, bland, uh wet piece of bread that doesn't break down when you chew it. That's what it was. It was disgusting. Disgusting. And so I got to play. I ate like two bites of my General's Out chicken. I couldn't eat the rest. What, what is wrong with these people? What is wrong with them? I don't want to share my food with you. You understand? I don't want to share my food with you. If I wanted what you ordered, I would have ordered it. But I didn't. I ordered my own food because that's what I wanted to shove down my face, down my throat. I didn't want your food. I don't want your food. If I wanted it, I would have ordered it. Why do I have to suffer? Why? It ruins meals. Food sharers ruin meals. That's all they do. That's all they're good for. Because you order what you want and then you don't get it. I can't stand it. When I order Chinese food, I want what I ordered because that's why I ordered it. It's very simple, peoples. It's very simple. So next time you guys come by, I ain't sharing any food with you. I'm, I'm eating all the General's Owls. Matter of fact, I think I'm going to go eat some right now. With that said, take care. Talk to you later. Don't be a dingbat.